All right, guys, so I just wanted to do a quick update to my Liquid Ghost S1 build. So as I mentioned in my original video, 12th generation Intel was just right around the corner. And as of the recording of this video, uh, it's been out for about one week. So here in front of me, as you guys can see, I got a bunch of parts. And really quickly, I'm just going to show them off to you guys, let you know my plans for putting together one, possibly two machines uh, in the really near future. So uh, yeah, let's go ahead and get into it and take a look at some of the parts. All right, so first up is our motherboard. So um, for my system and for the Liquid Ghost S1 build, I'm probably gonna be using this one. This is a Z690i Aorus Ultra DDR4 motherboard. It is a DDR4 motherboard that's ITX. Now, um, fun fact, unfortunately, there's only two motherboards, at least at the time of recording this video at launch, for the Z690 chipset. That is this one, which is an Aorus, and another one by Asus, which is also a Z690. And I wasn't able to get my hands on that one. That's one I really want, but for now, I was able to get this one. And this is actually sort of a, a good thing because uh, a couple other things we'll talk about when it comes to RAM. This one is DDR4, and it seems like the results of DDR4 versus DDR5, at least for gaming, aren't all that different. So I do have a DDR4 system uh, and I'm gonna be putting that together. I might either use my old RAM or I might use this RAM, which is the next thing we'll take a look at. This is a Trident Z a Neo kit. It actually has some fairly slow timings. Uh, it is, let's see in the back here, it's 18, 22, 22, 42. I'm gonna try to overclock it, but it is uh, rated for 4,000 speed. So I think uh, even though it does have some pretty high timings, it should be pretty fast. Uh, pretty fast kit, and I'm going to pair it up with this system. Uh, I do also have my Corsair Avengers memory for my original system, which is 16, 18, 18, 32, I think. I forgot the timings on that one. But either way, I'm going to see which one of the two kits are better. I might stick with this Trident kit. Uh, and then also what I ended up picking up uh, is, let me just go ahead and get this out of the way here. I picked up this motherboard. Now this is the, oh boy, uh, this is the ROG Strix gaming Wi-Fi. This is a beast of a motherboard. Uh, it was super expensive, but this one, uh, I plan on putting together a regular ATX system. Uh, this is a regular ATX motherboard. Uh, this isn't going in the liquid ghost this one, but this one is probably going to be my test bench system. Uh, so like I said, I do plan on possibly doing one, possibly even two different systems. One of them being my main gaming system and the other being a test bench system. What process is going in what? I do not know. But this is a DDR5 motherboard, and unfortunately, I wasn't able to get any DDR5 other than this pretty crappy Crucial kit right here. So this is uh, Crucial 32 gigabytes um, DDR5 4800. The timings are ridiculous on this, even higher than the other RAM. Yes, yeah, CL40. Um, so it's pretty pretty high, but apparently with DDR5, those timings don't necessarily matter as much. So we'll do some testing, and we'll figure it out. Either way, this is the only kit I got. I'm gonna use it for now. I might end up returning it and waiting until I get my hands on some better kit, but this is gonna be my DDR5 kit that I'm gonna be using. And then of course, the granddaddy, the big, the main the main event, this is the uh, Intel i9-12900K processor. As you guys can see, it does have that fake silicon wafer here in the back, which you've probably seen on the internet. I haven't opened it just yet, but this is the processor here. It looks really good. Now, I also ordered a 12600K processor and a 12700K processor because it seems like from the reviews, those two processors are actually the ones I really should be looking at. I'm not even sure if I want to keep the 12900K. I might do 12900K in my test system or for my main system, a 12600K, as that might be good enough for what we need. Either way, those are just some of the parts. And then finally, non 12th generation Intel related, I was able, if you haven't seen my short, I was able to score a freaking 3080 Ti reference edition. I've been trying to get my hands on any one of these reference cards since launch. It's been really hard. I have a total of uh, four GPUs, maybe, I think no, I have six GPUs, uh, but I wasn't, this, this, was, this is the one I really wanted. This is the one I, I truly wanted. I wanted a 3080, but I'll take a 3080 Ti because it's even faster. Uh, so I was able to get this. It's in my system right now. It's not in the box, uh, but I'm super excited to have that in my system. And because I got this GPU, I had to switch up our water block. So I ended up getting this guy so heavy. This is the EK Quantum Vector FE. This is the exact uh, water cooler that was used in the GGF events for the Liquid Ghost, this one that I'm trying to originally copy off of. So I got the right water block, I got the right GPU, I'm super excited about that part. And this is really gonna help put the build, I'll have the build come together. I also got um, just something basic here, like I got a NZXT RGB fan controller, I got 
Noctua NH12 fans, I think it's called. Yeah, but the, the, the really good Noctua fans, I got some really good parts. So I'm super excited about the build overall. Either way, this is just a quick video to sort of show you guys all the gear that I recently picked up. Super excited about the build. And uh, yeah, um, I will see you guys in uh, my next video.